it's Prince Andrew who has damaged the royal brand far more than Harry and Meghan with his association with the paedophile well, Jeffrey. Well, first of all, may I say, paedophile is a medical term. So is hebophile and so is aphibophile. It's a paedophile. No, paedophile is prepubescent, but there are many different types. Someone who has drugged and exploited a children back in the 1970s when no one really cared about these things anyway and that's polancephile, woodyphile derived from the word woo where they are found innocent in a court of law but they woo their sexy stepdaughter and subsequently in their art all the very young ladies are wooed by older and crucially witty men. Jimmy Fixifile as derived from the word philia meaning friendly love and Jimmy Dixidos meaning fan of Top of the Pops. A febophile is Jeffrey Epstein. There are 50 shades of paedophile. It's very complex um, and we See, must you must accept he was a bad man. I'm not saying he was. So, so what do you say to those people who think actually Prince Andrew's behaviour has done far more damage than anything Meghan and Harry could do. Well, yes, I hear what you are saying, but you know everything is layered and measured. President Clinton, far bigger name, much better friends with Epstein, watch Netflix parties together type of friendship, accidentally kill your boss and take him round Vegas for the weekend type of friendship. They are going after Prince Andrew because they are playing politics. Prince Andrew would only hang out with Epstein on ground floors. They are getting at him to protect Clinton. Well, I mean, there are pictures. But you see, Meghan and Harry have ruined our country, hurt our dear queen, perversely eat avocados, hang out with Wokies and dare to call their child Lilibet. The medical term for them is nincompoopyphile.